Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Thursday, January 18th, our scripture is from the Gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter, verses 13 through 19. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I will tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. Confession of Peter, Jesus said, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against him. Reports of decline in church membership across denominations in North America are no longer new. At first it wasn't so obvious, but the day came when most of us saw it in our own congregations. We've been asking why and wondering how the church can remain relevant in an overscheduled secular age. It is easy for anxiety about survival to lead to blame or to ricochet from one idea to the next and cause us to lose track of who we are and whose church this is. Christ built the church on the confession of faith voiced by Peter that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of the living God, as a human institution, the church may flounder. It may even dwindle to a remnant, but not even the gates of Hades will prevail against the church Christ built. Jesus promises this to Peter and to us today. We belong to Christ and it is Christ's church. We are called to faithfully proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ and trust the work of the Holy Spirit among us to lead us into the, our future. Our prayer. God, open our lips to preach, teach, and live the gospel of Jesus for the sake of your beloved world. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.